What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through the radio tower for the first time, and now we have to go into the underground path because, well, the director is stashed in there. Now, we actually got the basement key in order to go a little further into this underground path, so that's a big, big, big positive right there. And, uh, well, before we could go in there, we healed our Pokemon. Everything's fine, and, hmm, would you look at that? Team Rocket members in black suits. Are you in Team Rocket? Oh, damn. The legendary Pokemon. She mentioned something about some legendary Pokemon, and she's talking out of her mind and all that stuff, and that right there is a... That's weird. Isn't that like the sixth or seventh Kimono Girl? I just want to know. Anywho, here we are in the underground paths of uh, other lair, and, well... I'm gonna be switching up Pokemon because I have a feeling I have a uh, uh, there's a disturbance of the force and I feel like somebody's looking at me or following me and uh, there's that theme song Silver he's like told it I'm going to defeat all of Team Rockets told you to deceive you I thought it would uh, uh, tail you and it would leave me here no matter I'm planning to beat you after Lance but here you are I will repay you holy crud uh, okay alrighty so here we go, taking on a rival Silver. Now, what he was actually saying was that he wanted to beat Lance before me because, well, Lance basically mollywhopped his ass. Like, literally whooped it with just one Pokemon over at the Team Rocket hideout in Mahogany Town? Yeah, Mahogany Town. <laughs> man, man, would I pay to be a fly on that wall to see Silver get his butt kicked? But. Eh, sometimes you never really get to see that. And of course, he's going to be taking on us, and he's coming out with his team all stacked. Kind of almost fully evolved right here. And, well, I am not looking at the screen, so let's go right ahead and take on uh, Feraligator right here with our good old Fluff Bolt. Yeah. Man. If I had a list of Pokemon rivals, this is, this is actually for a good idea. This is a good idea right here, guys. Stand, listen to me. If I had a list of Pokemon rivals and ranked them from hated to more hated, I probably would put Silver, I don't know, probably fourth. Because I don't necessarily hate them very, very, very much. We eventually find out what Silver's all about. That's something that, you know, in Pokemon Gold, Silver, Crystal, they just left that shit out. But... I have them at fourth because, you know what? You know what? Him being the way he is, I kind of understand him now. We will eventually find out, guys. Do not worry. And look at that. Psybeam destroys Haunter. Oh, yes. Relic. Man, you're kicking butt now that you're an Espeon. Oh, yeah. Okay, so here comes a Sneasel. Let's go right ahead and use Cinder. Alrighty. Cinder ready to kick some butt now. Let's see. That could be that could be a good idea right there, guys. Making a, a list of rankings of, uh, well... Pretty much Pokemon trainers I hate. And right now, I don't know. We're going to continue this uh, this, this Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough. So far, both Barry and what's his face, the guy from Pokemon Sword and Shield, they're right there. They are right there. Barry because he's annoying, and the other guy right here because you know he's a little cocky prick living off of his brother's coattails and all that stuff. So yeah, pretty much it. Yeah. So, anywho, Magnemite defeated him. They have no chance against my team, man. Oh, yes. You are training with all hate, but no strategic magic. That's why you lose. And, yes, he... <laughs> yeah, he's saying the same thing as Gary. And, well, I don't understand. Is that is what the La Lance guy said is true? Yes, yes, yes. He, he keeps like Dude, you lack love for your team. Come on, man. Realize that. Okay, so I'm flipping them off, and let's continue our adventure right here, guys. So, as you can probably tell, we are in the underground basement, and there are quite a few doors, quite a few buttons. Yeah, it's a... oh good, it's a whole cluster, you know what. And we're gonna have to realize... Well, we're gonna have to figure that out. Now, luckily for me, while I was doing this whole post -com thing, I was actually going through my phone and actually got the order of... I got the order of what you call it uh, of, uh, of how to turn on these uh, these uh, what you call it these switches to get me into the next room. Back when I was a kid, 
Oh god, it would take me like 20 minutes, maybe even more, I'm not even exaggerating guys. Take me that much or that long in order to get to the next place. Literally take me uh, that that long, and I, I I would hate it. I would hate it so much just because oh crap. I was like, man, I don't want to go through this. I don't want to go through that. You know that kind of feeling that like oh man, we're gonna go through this place. I really don't want to go through it. And oh god, we got we kind of have to. You know we all have that kind of feeling. Where let's let, let, let me put an example right here for you guys. Whenever I play a Kanto game. Route, let me see. Hold on just a sec. You guys already know which route I'm talking about right here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. Okay, I'm, I'm going on my phone. As you can probably tell, I'm not even looking at my, my screen right here. I'm pressing the discharge thing. And here we go with a thunder punch. Let's see, Bulbapedia. Bulbapedia, you have always been awesome to us. All right. Let's see, there, there, I, I consider them one route. But it's like five different routes all together. Let's see. Hold on just a second, guys. And as you can tell, I am kicking butt, taking names. I'm make, making sure I'm letting these guys know who the boss is. And 11. Uh, wait, wait, wait. 11. Okay, 11. Okay, so there we go. Alright, so I'm talking about Route 12, Route 13, Route 14, Route 15. Yeah, routes uh, 12 through 15. I hate going through that specific area because there are a crap load of trainers. Just a crap load of trainers, guys. It's ridiculous. And then, it, and then what makes it even worse is that, you know, well, actually, hold on just a sec. Let me retract just a little bit, okay? The route to Fuchsia City is just bullshit because you go to Cycling Road, you get a X amount of, uh, of, of whatchamacallit, uh, bikers. Not only that, but when you get to Fuchsia City, you have to take on some bird trainers. But then, if you want to go the other way around, yes, I know I'm ranting and my mom's calling me. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and uh, grab some items, battle everybody, and then let me continue my rant right here because I got a lot of I got a lot to rant about. Hold on, let me talk to this guy. Yes, uh, there's gonna be some thieves here and some Pokemon, some Team Rocket members, so don't worry about that. Now, oh look at that, he's wearing a face mask. He knows it's a pandemic. Oh damn. Anywho, guys, now the route, like going into route, what you might call it, 12 through 15, absolute bullshit. Mainly because there are a crap load of trainers. Don't get me wrong, we need to level up before we take on uh, Koga. I mean, in Pokemon Yellow, Koga's teams are up, uh, like what, level 45 and above? Yeah, I get it. But seriously, bro, how many Pokemon trainers are there, and how many Pokemon trainers are there with the same friggin' Pokemon? I don't like going through those routes because it usually takes like about an hour to get away from that place. And now in recording time, it usually takes about two. If you guys uh, like have been watching my walkthroughs, and uh, in, in every single time I play a Kanto game, you guys have noticed that I usually break down that specific place or those specific places into one or two parts because holy crap, it is a lot to get through. It really is. And it's annoying. There's Draven's Ramp for the day right there, guys. Route 12 through 15, bullshit. And well, look at that. Nessie's coming out, ready to beat another uh, Team Rocket member right here. Coming out with his Magmar. Now this is new right here. He's coming out with a Pokemon that no Team Rocket member would use. Magmar. It throws out poison gas. Man, I got myself all, oh wait, that's not Team Rocket. Ah, balls. You see, when Draven gets ranting, he starts saying some stupid stuff. And look at that, Nessie grows to level 34. Hercules, of course, getting levels because, yeah. And he's like, mercy! Yeah, 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 okay. And look at this. We kind of screw up just a little bit, so hold on just a sec. There we go. That's what I meant, guys. In, uh, now, it, it, just a bit of a heads up right here, guys. Heads up. If you are playing the Disc Mume, and you are playing either Pokemon Heart Gold or Soul Silver. Just be aware that that could happen if you take a long time uh, playing the game and then eventually you end the battle or you go through another round and that happens. That usually happens. Don't worry guys, you can still save the game and just restart it and then BAM. Go as you will like you did in the, in the past, but just make sure that if you're done with like a specific part, save, restart, that way it restarts that whole BS. There we go. 
completely forgot to edit that out. But you know what? Probably a good thing that I, I showed it right here, guys. That way you guys know exactly what you're doing or know that you know, this could happen for Pokemon Soul Silver and Heart Gold. It, it, like, I completely forgot about it when I started playing Heart Gold. Um, and, but that's just necessary steps. But if you guys do know how to get rid of that little glitch, please comment down below. If there's a link to a video that I don't know of that, you know, fixes up this, this glitch, comment down below, guys. You are more than welcome to comment. And look at that. Here comes another Team Rocket member, and he's like, <laughs> about it. I don't even know how to, I don't even know how to say it. Oh, man. Okay, so let's see. So, yes. Route 12 and Route 15. Yes. Uh, I could say the Silphco is another one because there's just a lot of Pokemon trainers, but it's a... It, to me, it's like, eh, here's, here's the difference between Silphco and Routes 12 through 15. Silphco gives you some items. Route 12 through 15, just a bunch of Pokemon battles, so that's basically what it is. So it doesn't really ne it doesn't necessarily bu uh, like, uh, piss me off so much. In Johto, I would have to say this one right here, guys. Both the radio tower, the underground path, and then all the way back up to the next floor of the radio tower. And I think that's what really, that's what really irritates me. But not as much as, you know, Kanto. That's right. I have a lot to say. I have a lot to, a lot of ranting. And look at that. Hercules grows to level 37 and is learning close combat. A very powerful move, but with a very, very big, 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 big uh, drawback, and that is that uh, once you use it, I believe it's special defense and, and then regular defense go down. So the more times you use uh, close combat, the more times you go down. And look at that, Relic grows to level 37. Man, I am uh, I am doing a great thing here with my Pokemon. So that is that, and there is a Pokeball up there that I need to grab. Now, follow, uh, well, before we get to the order, let's go right ahead and grab that Pokeball, and that is a full heal. Great. Now, like I said, I did check this on my phone. Go into the exact order that I'm doing right now. Go to blue, go to green, and then go to red. And from there, voila. Again, that's the exact order, guys. Don't go red, green, and blue. No, go blue, green, and red. And then you'll have this part open. Trust me, guys, it works. Look it over my phone. And look at that. There's another Pokemon trainer waiting for us. Okay, let's do this. Bring it on. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Ready to get your butt kicked. And she's coming. Well, she's, she has a gloom right here. She's looking all gloomy right now, so let's go right ahead and uh, put more gloom into its doom right here. And why did I use Confuse Ray? Of course, I was not looking on my... Oh, I was not looking at the screen. Sometimes when I'm recording this, guys, I am not looking at the screen. I'm just looking at the TV and just looking. I was like, I already know how this game goes. You have this thing memorized. And you see, this is what happens when you don't look. You go, you go to sleep. Oh, crud. Okay, so here we go. An awakening. Let's go, Nessie. Wake the F up. Alrighty. It's awake. And Gloom is still confused. And it hurts himself. Okay, so that gives us a... Well, that spares us just a little bit. Let's go with an Ice Beam. Finish this guy off. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Gloom has no chance whatsoever. I'm happy. I'm very, very happy. Look at that. Nessie growing levels, Hercules as well, and she's coming out with another gloom. So let's go right ahead and uh, well, use Nessie to its fullest, uh, full power right here. So let's go, Ice Beam attack for the win. Yeah, buddy. Nessie taking care of business, taking care of business right here, Nessie. And well, she's like asking us, "How could you?" Well, you guys are running amok, and uh, you guys are. You know, just making a big old scene right here. So, someone's got to stop you. Someone's got to be the hero, right? And look at that. We get ourselves an Ultra Ball. Not so bad. And, well, we got a few... Yeah, we got two or three Team Rocket members in here. So, let's go right ahead. And he's like, you're not going any further. I show no mercy to my enemies, especially if they're brats. Well. Well, that, that happens to be my nickname. And, well, let's go right ahead and go with Nessie again. And while I'm doing that, I got a text message right here. Might as well answer it because, uh, well, I'm, I'm that good for a, for a person. Good gravy! See, this is why I 
my shit on silence because I get a buttload of text messages. A lot of messages. Alrighty. <laughs> there we go. And Nessie, of course, gets its, uh, gets its restores right there. And let's see. Here we go with the gold bat. And guess what? We're going to be going with Nessie again because we got Ice Beam. <laughs> there we go. And let's get with the Ice Beam. And let's see. I'm trying to. I'm trying to like text and and actually uh, narrate this thing. And look at that gold bat defeated. And look at that. And look at that. And look at that. Oh yes. Okay. So we get more points. That team rocket grunt has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. And well, let's see. Hmm. There are a few items right here. There are. Okay. So. You grab this item right here, and this is a maxi there. I believe there's a... What was it? A, 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 whatchamacallit? There is a... Uh, whatchamacallit? A coin right here. And, well, we got another Team Rocket member. We've been waiting for him. Of course, he wants to battle us. So, let's go right ahead. And, well, here we have Team Rocket Grind wanting to come out with his Grimer. And look at that. Okay. Let's see, hold on, I'm texting right now, hold on. Let me finish this sentence. Going to school. There we go. Alrighty, so let's get back right here and put that on silence. And you know what? He's coming out with the wheezing. That's nice. He has a Pokemon other than, you know, uh, you know, the regular gold bed and stuff. So he must be a strong Pokemon trainer. Of course. A lot of these uh, Team Rocket members have gold bat. It can kind of show you that, yeah, their Pokemon don't really like them a lot because, yeah, gold bat evolving through friendship. Yeah, not a lot of friendship right there. So here we go, Psybeam attack for the win. And look at that. Weezing has been defeated. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And oh, yes. A lot of experience points given out, and I'm happy about that. He's like, yuck, 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 yuck. How did you know? Well, apparently this guy was the... The yuck, yuck, yuck guy. Didn't realize that. So we got one more Team Rocket member right here. And is it a she? How did you get this far? Well, I got I got far because I'm an actually I'm, a, I'm an actual good trainer, and it's a he. My bad. So here he comes out with a copy. Let's go, Nessie. All right, Nessie. You're looking at that Pokemon right there. Square in the eyes. Let's go right ahead and use hmm. Body Slam. That's right. Just in case it gets paralyzed and all that crud. We'll, oh yeah, it does have a nice defense right there, so... <laughs> kind of screwed up right there just a little bit, but guess what? We got Body Slam again. WrestleMania. And uh, there we go. Suck it, coughing. Yeah, buddy. And, well, we get a little bit more from its Shell Bell, which is great. And everybody's getting experience points, but guess what? He's coming out with another coughing. So we're just going to finish this guy off with... One more, and I'm not gonna use Bonnie Slam right here. I might as well use a Surf or Ice Beam because, yeah. Let's go with an Ice Beam. And look at that. Really wish Ice Beam would have been a little bit more bigger, like you know, not not not, not a small stream or anything, but just a little bigger. And look at that, Comfy defeated, and more Shell Bell effect. We are back. Well, one point away from full HP right there. Nessie grows experience, and the Team Rocket Grunt has been disposed of. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, well, after that, after defeating all the Team Rocket members right here, you will be able to find the director. And, yes, we are here to rescue you. The radio tower has been taken over by a Team Rocket member, so he'll give you a card key in order to get to the other section of the radio tower. And there's a transmitter up in the radio tower that will probably control Pokemon. Don't you think that's not a good thing to have on a radio tower? I'm just saying. So here we are, TM82 getting sleep talk, and well, in the next episode, guys, we will be uh, finishing off this whole Team Rocket thing. And look at that, we found ourselves an amulet coin, finally, so we can get some more money. Yeah, and then, of course, our mom's going to be calling us because, uh, well, they're winning a lot of money. A boatload of money. I, I, can't, I can't imagine how much money she's making off of me. I just want to say that. I don't know. Okay, so, yes, in our next episode, we will be going through the next section of the Radio Tower. And uh, we will be completing this whole Team Rocket uh, excursion right here. So, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.